Welcome to the exciting world of America's Cup Yacht Racing. As the final of Louis Vuitton Cup is starting within a couple of days, we're diving into a detailed analysis of the two contenders, Luna Rosa Prada Pirelli and Ineos Britannia. These state-of-the-art AC75 foiling monohulls represent the pinnacle of maritime engineering, combining cutting-edge technology, design, and sheer speed. Let's break down their key differences and what makes each of these incredible machines stand out. Luna Rosa Prada Pirelli, the Italian entry, is a marvel of both aesthetics and function. With its futuristic mirrored silver finish, it catches the eye before it even touches the water. But beyond the beauty, there's some serious engineering at play. The team has chosen a deep, low-volume hull design. This gives Luna Rosa a unique profile when it's on the water, offering advantages when dealing with choppy waves. The low volume reduces drag, allowing the boat to glide more efficiently through rough conditions. However, it's not all about aesthetics. This design also offers a trade-off. Less buoyancy means Luna Rosa has to rely on precision in weight distribution and balance, particularly in the positioning of its crew and sails. Its other key innovation? A sleek pod design that covers the crew, reducing wind resistance and drag, all while keeping the sailors protected and streamlined. On the other hand, we have Ineos Britannia, the British challenger. If Luna Rosa is all about elegance, Britannia is about raw power and precision. Collaborating with the Mercedes AMG F1 team, Ineos has brought the technical expertise of motorsport into the realm of yacht design. And it shows. Britannia's design is heavily influenced by the world of Formula One. This is most evident in its advanced aerodynamics. Every curve and shape is engineered to reduce drag and maximize speed. It features complex flowing lines reminiscent of F1 cars, especially around its foils and rudder systems, where lift and control are critical. The hull design is slightly more muscular than Luna Rosa's, designed to handle higher speeds and extreme conditions with precision. Additionally, Ineos launched their boat with second-generation foils right from the outset, more refined, advanced, and ready to perform at the highest level from day one. So, how do these two boats stack up against each other? Luna Rosa Prada Pirelli is about balancing form and function. In contrast, Ineos Britannia takes a more industrial, aggressive approach with its F1-inspired geometry designed for raw speed. Both boats push the boundaries of what's possible in yacht design, but in different ways. Luna Rossa's innovation lies in its low-profile hull and its ability to perform well in varied conditions. The Italian team has opted for subtle but impactful changes, refining and evolving the lessons learned from their previous challenges. Britannia, however, is packed with the latest tech, borrowing heavily from F1 engineering. With advanced foils and more aggressive aerodynamics, Ineos Britannia aims to be the fastest yacht on the water, even if it means taking more risks in design. In the end, these two incredible yachts embody different approaches to winning the America's Cup. As the race in Barcelona draws near, the big question remains. Which design philosophy will triumph? Luna Rossa's elegant wave-cutting efficiency, or Britannia's high-tech, F1-inspired speed, only time will tell. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this breakdown of America's Cup Yachts, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest in sailing innovation. Leave a comment below. Who do you think will come out on top? Luna Rosa or Ineos Britannia?